In this film I'm going to show you how to save TurboCAD drawings in different file formats or open drawings created and saved in different file formats from within TurboCAD. If you have a drawing sent to you as an attachment it's best to save it into a folder or onto your desktop first and then open it from within TurboCAD. So we have TurboCAD open here, uh, we've got 19.2, uh, 32 pit version, professional obviously. And the first thing I'm going to show you is ho opening drawings, opening photographs, rather photographs rather than uh, CAD drawings. So uh, for this we would, to bring a drawing in, we would go to the top where insert, picture, from file. Then I find file so it's on my main drive um, I've got some on say uh, marketing in marketing there's some pictures of me right there's three pictures of me there and I think they're all JPEGs down here it says see, it shows you all files if I go JPEG and they're still there which they are obviously they are JPEGs um, if I click onto each one I should get a preview over to the left here there it is there's me sitting in front of a desk and uh, it takes a bit of time there's another one so what I'll do is I'll select the one I want and then to import it in I can either click on to open or double click so I'm just going to double click because that's sort of what I tend to do so we haven't got the uh, so now we've got these uh, crosshairs I left click my mouse keep my finger down drag it from top left to bottom right take my finger off the mouse and there's me it's a picture of me looking like a bank manager who's just about to turn your loan application down okay so once you've got one drawing in you can put other drawings on top and then overlap so I can go uh, insert again picture from file uh, so this click onto this one again this time I'll click onto open that closes and I can just draw another box overlapping the other one and a picture comes straight in okay now when I do do that when I do the uh, pictures from file you see here file type JPEG so I changed it before if I click onto there you can see all the different types of files that I could bring in so I could bring in GIFs or JPEGs or TIFFs although TIFFs are not really used any uh, very often anymore um, and all these other ones, ones I've never used in my life, TGA and anyway, they're the files you can have. Okay, so there's that's bringing in a photograph. Now, I'll just move that aside a bit, just so that, uh, and I'll draw some recognisable CAD type shapes. It's not necessary, but just so that you can see something you recognise rather than a picture of me staring at you. So, this time here. I'm going to save this drawing so I'll go to file save as this box comes up so the desktop uh, folder is open so anything I save down here that's where it will be saved if you want to change it you've got to click onto there choose where you want to save it I'll leave it on desktop we give it a name it's called drawing number one that'll do us we don't care and type so it's going to default to TurboCAD TCW file format if you want to change that you click onto this on to the right and here's your different file formats okay a whole pile of them 30 odd so going from the top we've got TurboCAD we've got 3D Rhino uh, we have got 3D Studio 3D Studio is the Autodesk 3D file format uh, coming down a bit I'm just going to pick out some of the more popular ones. Uh, Collada, which is originally uh, brought out by Sony. It's a sort of mongrel type 3D file format. It's the one I would use. Uh, coming further down, we've got DWG and DXF. DXF is owned by Autodesk. Uh, DWG, well, Autodesk thinks they own DWG, but they don't. They own DXF, uh, but they tend to go uh, together, really. Personally, I find DWG a little bit more reliable than DXF but many machines will seem to prefer DXF uh, and then coming down we've got some uh, file formats for publishing if you want to put pictures in magazines whatever it is we've got uh, GIFs, IGES, JPEGs, OBJs, PDFs 
and uh, going down what else we got down and then down the bottom here we've got the higher end uh, engineering type file formats, step files and STL files which are used in um, 3D printing you won't find the step and the STL files in the deluxe version in fact the deluxe version has got about 20 file formats whereas professional has got 23 or something more than that so if we go back up here say we want to save this in the most popular file format which is DWG if we click on here if we now select save it will save as a DWG file format and if we need to save that uh, send that drawing as an attachment to someone with uh, AutoCAD or SolidWorks whatever it is they should be able to read it now if we click on to setup here we can see that it's saved as AutoCAD 2007 to 2009 so if you send this drawing to someone and they can't open it, it may be because they've got an earlier uh, CAD version, maybe maybe they're using AutoCAD 2002, in which case they won't be able to read these later uh, editions. So if you send it to them and they, can't, um, and they can't open it, just say to them, okay, well, what version of AutoCAD or SolidWorks, whatever else do you have? What version of DXF or DWG are you saving in? And if they can tell you that, uh, you should be able to save it in their... Uh, format so then they will be able to uh, open it easily there's all sorts of variations down here as well which I never really bother with but explode text unlock groups as blocks all that sort of business you can have a look down and generally speaking you won't need them so I'm just going to cancel uh, so that's the DWG some of these others you will find let's just choose one say JPEG uh, setup there you go so you've got some variations here you can it defaults to quite a high uh, quality but you can turn it down lower if you want the drawing smaller and to go through quicker. Um, output range, all of the drawing or just what you can see. Custom heights and widths, maximum resolution if you want a good quality thing, you might as well click onto that. Okay, so many of these you will find um, there's variation. Some there's none. Save as version, it just says that. Oh, now we've got a couple of versions there. So some will have lots of different versions, things you can save and things you can't save, others just say which versions you want, anyway there's lots of variations and as I said before if you send it to someone who can't open it that's the place to look okay so I'm just going to uh, cancel that so that's how I would uh, save the other, th uh, the other point is how I would open a drawing so I go to file, open Again, I'm going to choose my t my drawing, whatever it is, uh, desktop. So here's the DWG. So here's showing me in these folders there should be DWG drawings. If I change that to say, uh, let's say, uh, all files, then look, we've got a lot more here because that's everything of any file that's on my desktop. And if I take that down again, I restrict it, say, just to step files. There's probably very few. There you go. Okay, and so to open, I would just click on to, I would just select my drawing, whichever one it was, if it was that one. Now, in that folder, in terms of step files, you can see there's none. In terms of, uh, let's have a look at, say, all files, in there there's three of them. Okay, so all you do then is, I'm not going to bother, but all you do then is click on to choose the one you want, and then click on open, and then hope it opens. And that's as simple as it is, I think. Nothing else for it. Okay. That's your lot. Cheers.